Hey, y'all, uh, how's it going? Throwing down here, another test run as usual. Game Boy, you're here with J4 T4, and this time I'm throwing down and I'm seeing how Blaster Master Jr. is. Uh, let me go ahead and get on top of doing dialogue stuff here in a moment. Uh, period 1 1. Stage 1, level 1, whatever. So, uh, published. Published by Sunsoft. Uh, developed by a Acom, distributed by Nintendo, and it's part of the whole Blaster Master Bomberman series, I suppose. Uh, of course, Game Boy, and it was released in 1991. Bla Blaster Master Jr., known as Blaster Master Boy in North America, and Bomber King Scenario 2 in Japan is an action video game developed by Acom and published by Sunsoft. The game was released in 1991 for Game Boy. The game is a sequel to Robo Warrior, a spin-off title in the Bomberman series by Hudson Soft. However, the game was marketed in Western territories as a game in the Blaster Master series by Sunsoft. Okay. Does this have anything about Robo Warrior? I suppose it does. And it looks like Robo Warrior was released on MSX and Nintendo Entertainment System. I'm not too sure about that other stuff, but but fair enough. Cool. You know, it seems the Game Boy actually had quite a lengthy um, lifespan, as it seems games were still published for it in like late 90s that that's pretty good lifespan out of a uh handheld i suppose this current gen uh, i kind of it kind of bombed actually back then there wasn't a whole lot of um competition for all that stuff anyway so really they could take their sweet ass time right now we got a uh, Game Boy and uh, PlayStation Portable. Not Game Boy, I mean uh, DS. That stuff's cool and all. Uh, I do want a DS, and why the fuck am I wasting my time going over here? I don't know. And the controls, it's a pain in the ass at times. It's sluggish, like it doesn't immediately want to... Um, Recognize what I'm trying to do. Oh, yay, the exit. Fucking A. That's what I came here for. What the shit is this? I think it's a boss. What the hell, yo? Maybe I shouldn't walk so close to him? I don't know, it's possible. I don't think so, though. I don't know. It shouldn't matter. He looks into, like a nice cuddly fellow that likes to throw stuff at me. And see the, the c c controls like to be sluggish for me at a moment there. Yeah, there wasn't a whole lot about to, a whole lot about this game to read up on for this, so I uh, ended up not reading more than what I was presented. Unfortunately. So, that's about it for that. But I figured, hey, I'll test run it. It's not going to hurt anything or... It might hurt someone. But I'll see how this is. See how great or terrible it is. And we'll go from there. How about it? I should be hitting uh, 700 videos very soon. Unfortunately, I need more viewers as well. That'd be most excellent. But with the more recent videos I'm putting up, that hopefully gets me more traffic than this crap does. Not saying it's bad or anything, but I'm saying it's bad. No, just kidding. This stuff's just not very popular. Unless you like the old school retro stuff, and I like the old school retro stuff. 
Yeah. I do plan to even, you know, keep doing it well for some time, but for right now, I'm focusing on this. And I just might pick up a PlayStation 3. Uh, I'm still contemplating it, but uh, I very well may be picking up a PlayStation 3 in my arsenal very soon. Uh, if this guy's really gonna sell me a PlayStation 3 with a broken disk drive for $40, uh, I just gotta replace the disk drive and I could very well have a PlayStation 3 for less than $100. All together after, you know, the, the cost of the, and the shipping and the cost of the part. Cause that shit ain't shit to replace. So, that should be cool. Anyway, let's see how far I can get into this level. What the fuck was that? Game over already? Oh, oh well. So I want to thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, check out other videos on my channel that are probably significantly better than this one that you may enjoy more than this one. And I'll see you next time. Bye.